Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am continuing LCM and HCF. In the last session, I have explained the uh, introduction of LCM and HCF. Uh, now, in this session, I am going to explaining about uh, LCM of H LCM and HCF. Uh, to calculate LCM and HCF, uh, what are the methods that we are following? And uh, first one that I already explained that uh, I already told you in the last session that is uh, one is factorization method and uh, another one is long division method. Always uh, first we are going with long division method. Why? Because generally we are dealing with uh, each and every problem. Most of the cases will go with uh, long division method. So first I will explain how to calculate LCM as well as HCF by using long division method. Let's see LCM. Let us take an example, small example. Initially, I will take small example. To calculate LCM by using long division method, here the numbers uh, 12, 24, and 36. These are the three numbers. What is uh, LCM of these three numbers? What is the LCM of these three numbers? Basically, long division method, generally we are following the method this one, right? Divide this number with the uh, prime numbers only. Always divide all these numbers with uh, prime numbers uh, in order to get the exact result. Sometimes uh, there is a chance of getting wrong answer if you divide with composite numbers. Okay, You can divide with composite numbers only if that particular number is uh, divides all the given numbers. Uh, suppose for example uh, 12, 24, 36. Uh, all these are multiples of 12. All these are multiples of 12. So you can directly take 12. Suppose for example, if you take uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, 12 after 24. Suppose if you take 24 or 18. Uh, the, it divides only 36. Uh, if you take 24, it divides only 24. right? So that particular number must divide each and every number. Or otherwise you can take only with uh, prime numbers division with only prime numbers or else if you want to divide with composite number then that particular number must be all the numbers uh, divide, uh, divisible by this number here it is 12 1 sir 12 2 sir 12 3 sir right now again it is not divisible right so 12 into our lcm is equal to lcm of the numbers 12 into 2 into 3 which is equal to 24 3 sir. 20, 12 into 2, 24, 24 into 3, which is equal to 72. LCM of these three numbers, which is equal to 72. 72 is the right answer for this question. This is how we are calculating the LCM. Suppose, uh, for example, I will take one more example to calculate LCM. Let us take the numbers as 8, 12, and uh, 24. As like previously, previously you have taken uh, div division with 12. But if you take division with 12, uh, what will happen is uh, here 8 is not divisible by 12. So you should not div divide with 12. Always go with uh, prime numbers. 2. Here it is 4 times, 6 times, 12 times. Uh, again 2. Here it is 2 times, 3 times, 6 times. Uh, again go with 3. It is not divisible. And next one time and two times. Again with two. Here it is one time, one time, one time. Now you can calculate a uh, LCM of all these three. Here it is uh, LCM is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 2. Which is equal to here it is uh, 8 into 3. 24. 24 is the LCM of all these numbers. 24 is the LCM of all these three numbers. That is the reason why previously I told that uh, whenever it is divisible by, uh, suppose uh, here all these three numbers are multiples of 12. That is the reason why directly I have taken 12. But in this case, uh, all these three are not multiple of 12. That is the reason why you should not divide with 12. Suppose if you take 8, uh, 8 is also not possible. It divides 8 as well as 24, but uh, 8 is not divisible, not divides the number 12. In the similar fashion, 
you can take 4 that's not a problem why because uh, it divides 8 as well as 12 as well as 24 you can divide with 4 that's not a problem right here this is the way of doing long division method of uh, LCM now we'll go for HCF long division method we'll go with uh, HCF uh, long division method HCF long division method I will take a uh, few O numbers. Let us take the numbers are 24, 36, 24 and 36. Let us take these are the two numbers. Long division method of doing the HCF. According to long division method, divide the greatest number. Divide the greatest number with the smallest number. Divide the greatest number with the smallest number. If you divide the greatest number 36 with smallest number, what you will get? Here it is uh, 1 time 24. Here the remainder is 12. Here the remainder is 12. Again, divide previous divisor with this remainder. Previous divisor is 24 and the remainder is 12. This particular division process will continue uh, till you are getting the remainder as 0. Here you will get definitely you will get remainder 0 in this case. Uh, why? Because uh, 12 2 is 24. So here the remainder is 0. 12 2 is 24 remainder is uh, 0. Here you are getting the remainder 0 by dividing with uh, 12. So your required HCF for this question is uh, 12 not 24. Here while dividing with 24 you are not getting the remainder 0 but while dividing with 12 you are getting the remainder 0. So this is your required HCF. This is your required HCF. Suppose uh, for example if there are uh, three numbers uh, if there are three numbers let us take uh, one more number uh, you know let us take the number as uh, 60. Let us take the number as 60. First of all, take any two numbers. That is up to you. Here, I have taken these two numbers. I will get one answer. But this is not our final result. This is not our final result. Instead of 60, it is better to take 64. We will get uh, the exact result. Here, 12 is not the final result. Again, uh, whatever the result you got from these two numbers, uh, this number and this number. You have to do the HCF of these two numbers. Again, you can go with the same procedure. Divide the greatest number with smallest number. Here it is 5 times. Uh, remainder is uh, 4. 12 5 is uh, 60. Remainder is 4. You are not getting the remainder as uh, uh, 0. Again, do the same process of division. Divide previous divisor with uh, this remainder. Previous divisor is 12. And this remainder is 4. 4 3 is uh, 12 and the remainder is 0. Here you got the remainder by dividing with the 4. Therefore, the HCF of all these three numbers 24, 36 and 64 LC, uh, HCF of all these three numbers is uh, 4. This is not your final answer. Here, whenever three numbers are given, three numbers are more than uh, three numbers, uh, four numbers, uh, Take the HCF of these two, you will get one result. Take the HCF of these two, you will get one answer. And out of that, uh, again you have to take the same uh, process for this one, for these two numbers also. This is the final HCF. Uh, this is not your uh, final HCF. This is the uh, HCF of only the two numbers which you are selected. And uh, selection of numbers is also that is uh, our choice. You can select any two numbers. I, if I want to select first number and third number, that is up to my knowledge. If I want to select second number and third number, that is also, you will get the same result. Result will not change at any point of time. That, But only the thing is, the process is, uh, you have to follow the same thing. Whatever the result you are uh, getting from first two, that result and third number you must calculate the HCF. Why? Because always you, every time you will not get the same result of these two are not same. If you see here the number is 12 but here the number is 4. This is the final result. 4 is the HCF of 24, 36 and 
64. This is how we are calculating LCM and HCF by using long division method. Now, we are going with a factorization method. Factorization method of doing LCM as well as uh, HCF. Uh, both are almost uh, similar concept, but uh, there is a small change between LCM and HCF. I will tell you that concept. First step is common. I will take a few examples. 8, 12 and 24. 8, 12 and 24. Here also I will take 8, 12 and 24. What is a LCM and what is a HCF? That we will calculate. Here, the first step, what we are doing in factorization method of doing LCM as well as HCF in both the cases. First step is common. That is, uh, write down all the given numbers in terms of prime factors. Write down all the given numbers in terms of prime factors. Prime factors in the sense that uh, all base values must be prime numbers. So, you can write this one as 2 cube. Here also this is 2 cube. And uh, here it is uh, 12. 12 is nothing but uh, 2 square into 3. 4 3 is 12. So you can write 4 as 2 square. And next uh, 24. 24 is nothing but 8 3 sir. 8 is nothing but 2 cube again. 2 cube into 3. Here also you can do the same thing. 2 square into 3. And here it is uh, 2 cube into 3. Now, first step is common for both LCM as well as HCF. Now, you will get the answer, different answers for these two. What you have to take in this uh, LCM and what you have to take in this uh, HCF. Listen carefully. In LCM, after writing the given numbers in terms of prime factors, uh, write down all the prime numbers which you are able to see. Here, you can able to see two prime numbers. One is 2 and one is 3. That is 2 and 3. And in the second case, in HCF, you can write down whatever the prime numbers which are common for all the numbers. Here, if you observe carefully, 2 is the only prime number which is common for all the three numbers. So, you can write only one prime number two but whereas in this uh, lcm you have to write down all the prime numbers which you are able to see whereas coming to hcf which are common prime numbers that you can able to see here the common prime number for all the numbers is two here the total num prime numbers are two and three now here for lcm you have to take uh, highest powers highest powers for lcm you have to take uh, highest powers uh, whereas uh, for hcf you have to take uh, lowest powers that is the only difference between lcm and hcf factor factorization method here for lcm you need to take highest powers of prime numbers two highest power among all these numbers three two power three three highest power that is one only so, 3 power 1. 2 cube is equal to 8. 8 into 3, 24. 24 is the LCM of all these uh, three numbers. Whereas, coming to this case, uh, for HCF, you need to take the lowest powers of uh, prime numbers. Uh, here, the lowest power of this particular prime number is uh, 2. So, 2 square is equal to 4. 2 square is equal to 4. Therefore, HCF of all these uh, three numbers is uh, 4. 4 is the right answer. In this way, you can calculate LCM and HCF by using factorization method. These are the two methods uh, generally we are following uh, in LCM and uh, HCF. But most of the cases will go with the long division method for both LCM as well as uh, HCF. Guys, I hope you understand the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.